Ethan Melzer, this motherfucker. This motherfucker is an army soldier whose name hit the streets yesterday in the form of a headline that's been all over the place. U.S. Army soldier charged a neo-Nazi plot to attack fellow troops. I saw this and thought, what a piece of shit. I was going to read up on it after originally seeing the story on popular military news site Task and Purpose. So I opened the article and that's when this story started to get really crazy. So get this. Ethan Trader Ass Melzer was in communications with a group called the Order of Nine Angles or O9A for short. They are based out of the UK. Important to keep in mind, based on the research I've done, this group was formally founded in the 1960s, but the history of its ideologies is reported to date back to the Middle Ages. The founder's name is Anton Long, but that is believed to be a pseudonym for another man, David Hyatt, pictured here. Now, when I saw this, I thought something about this, I don't know what it is, doesn't look like white supremacist to me. Here's a quote from Stars and Stripes about what O9A is. It encourages extreme violence, including rape and murder, the report said, and seeks to harness supernatural forces and overthrow the alleged Nazarene Magian, aka Jewish, influence on society. Reduce the population of mundanes through acts of extreme barbarism and usher in a new imperial age ruled by a race of satanic supermen who would colonize the solar system. It's not uncommon for them to rape, sodomize, and cannibalize people. The fuck? So I kept digging. Hyatt is a UK-based white nationalist whose list of heroes includes Satan, Hitler, and Osama bin Laden. What an interesting group, huh? He moved to the Middle East for a while and practiced as a Muslim for 11 years and even for a while was a spokesperson for Al-Qaeda. But he returned to the UK to continue his mission as a white supremacist, socialist, nationalist, Satan-worshipping, Hitler-loving, jihadist. This is like the fucking axes of evil over here. So, so this guy is trying to unite Al-Qaeda, ISIS, and white supremacist neo-Nazis through their common hatred of Jews. Does this sound alarming to you? Anybody else? Is this just me? I think it is. This sounds pretty fucked up. And I'm glad... I know who these guys are now. So back to Ethan Shithead Melzer. This motherfucker is in communication with O9A, sending unit information to plan an attack on them on their next deployment. Here it is according to Stars and Stripes. Melzer and his co-conspirators planned what they referred to as a jihadi attack during the deployment. With the objective of causing a mass casualty, even victimizing his fellow service members. That's what the statement said. So... What kind of white supremacist co-conspirators plan a jihad? How about ISIS and Al-Qaeda? When the FBI raided Ethan Douchefuck Melzer's pad, they found ISIS propaganda. He was radicalized possibly while serving forward in Italy and has self-declared himself a traitor. Listen to this again. Satan, Hitler, ISIS, and neo-Nazis are teaming up right now. This is a serious problem. At least, I mean, I think so. What do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. Now, let me change course for a second here because this mind-blowing international terror plot hit the streets yesterday all over social media, and the headline is this. U.S. Army soldier charged in neo-Nazi plot to attack fellow troops. Maybe it's just me. Seriously, maybe it is. But does that headline scream international terrorist plot including ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Hitler, Nazis, and Satan? Or... Does it sound like some crazy KKK shit from Alabama? You tell me. But my expectation when opening the article was the latter. And I would have been perfectly fine hating that shit. That could very well just be my mistake. But every article I read waited till the 7th, 8th, ninth paragraph to get to the fact that other entities besides white supremacists were involved. It seems like relevant information to me. I mean, in my mind, the headline could have read, U.S. Army soldier charged in terror plot to kill Americans, but it didn't. It's all about white supremacists. Okay, well, white supremacists are a part of it, right? So maybe I'm being a little unfair to the news because they did go on to mention the other actors involved. But also, something to keep in mind here, not one of these groups are based out of the United States. None of them. 
This is an external threat that radicalized a military member stationed overseas and made him a threat from within. Max, why does this matter? Well, here's some screenshots of things I saw on social media this week. Not much there about terrorism, huh? But I did catch some MAGA stuff in there. Not to defend these MAGA assholes out there causing people all these problems, but it's just factually wrong. And the headlines are spreading way faster than the actual info. So I thought I would take the time to say something. And for what it's worth, maybe here for extra credit, the only news site reporting terror in the headline was the Jerusalem Post. And here's some screenshots from CNN. Feel free to rewind that one back down and read all of them. Nothing at all in there about Islamic terrorism. Just so you know, white supremacists are a big problem in America. Some groups have popped up in the United States in the last few years. Those groups have been responsible for violent crimes, rapes, and murders, as well as destruction of property, and the intent to disrupt and overthrow American society. But I guess we don't really have time to talk about those groups, huh? Some of those groups by name include the Base and Adam Waffen. But don't worry, I'll be making content on those groups soon. It's definitely important that we identify who these motherfuckers are. So just like my other videos, I'm pleading with you, begging, do your research before you go and share shit and spread misinformation online on your crusade for just justice on, you know, Facebook and TikTok. That's all for now, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for more military and veteran content and let me know what you think if, if, of all this craziness in the comments down below. Do you think I missed the mark here? Or do you think I'm kind of close thinking that this is uh, there's more to this story than the headline here? Do you think it's a problem that people don't read past headlines before they share information? Have you seen this online yourselves? What do you think should happen to Ethan Melzer, the traitor who was planning on a mass attack, mass casualty event on his fellow troops? I'd be really curious what you guys have to say. Feel free to hit me up on any social media at The Scuttlebutt Show. Leave a comment down below on this YouTube channel, wherever you're watching this video. I look forward to talking to you guys soon. I'm out for now.